You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. Hello, Internet. Welcome to another, yet another Tadpog podcast. Uh, special, special episode today. At least I think it's special. We're doing another all calls. We are. I love all calls. They're Dude. my favorite episodes to do. So they're fun. I love all calls. I wonder, have we been getting new calls? We are up. A, we are up a little. Okay, well, so that's good. Mm-hmm. By like twenty. <laughs> okay. Since the last time I looked at this, which was probably two or three weeks ago, uh, uh-huh. when we did um, the return of all calls, all raw calls, Julia. Right. Was it the return, the revenge of all? I, I had a return of the Jedi, revenge of the Jedi moment there. Uh, it, we were at like three seventy something, and now we're at almost four hundred again. At last, we will reveal ourselves to the monsters. <laughs> at, at last, we will have our revenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, well, I was asking because it's like, at what point can we just do all calls? It's the Adams Every family, week. by the way. But who's counting? But the Adams family is revealing themselves to the monsters. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see what you're saying. The best jokes are the ones you I have to drop explain. It. <laughs> just drop. It. Can we start over? No, no that's on me. If, if I tell a joke and you, and you don't get it, that's on me, not on you. <laughs> see, I don't see it that way, but whatever. Okay. Well, we'll do another all calls because Dave, you were you went to Las Vegas. I did. Bro, for that bro, very bro, fast turnaround for that Elvis convention. It was <laughs> my soul. Got it. It was okay. It was fine. It was work. Yeah. Twelve hour days. Trying to get eight hours of sleep. Where so did you didn't leave stay? Alone. The Win, which was awesome. The Win, Win hotels are amazing. It now, this was one's, awesome. This one's just down. If you're facing, if you're facing Treasure Island, mm-hmm. which is on the left, and that would put Harrah's and the Venetian on your right. Isn't the Win just past the Venetian? Uh, the Win. Is it back the other direction? The okay. So from my room, I could see Trump Tower on the right. Yeah. I could see Palazzo on the left, mm-hmm. and then straight dead ahead was Fashion Mall. Okay, it's farther back that way. And then yeah. so to the left, you farther were, to you the were left farther was down. You were yes, okay, uh-huh. I know where that is. So, so it was on the other end of the strip. On from the Caesars. other end from Caesars, yeah. like down by the. Um, According the to Fallon, it's Kaisar's. Well, that is true. We're not there yet, <laughs> though. Kaisar's Palace. Kaisar's we'll wait Palace. for China to attack, and then <laughs> a few years after that, we'll call it Kaisar's. But for now. In the modern English vernacular, what's the what's the pyramid one called? I always forget. That's MGM Grand, isn't it? No, the Black Pyramid. Oh, then I don't. Big I thought Black it pyramid. was the Grand. Fuck. <laughs> I don't have good internet right now, so I'm not going to bother looking that up. I don't know. I don't really know that much about Vegas. I mean, uh, but the wind was nice. It was like way nicer than Caesar's. Um, Caesar's is a shithole, and most of it is a shithole. I mean, it wasn't to me when I went because I was like, oh, this is like way nicer than any hotel that right. I stop at on a road trip. Relatively you know. speaking. The Luxor. Ah, thank you. Thank you. The Luxor. But yeah, it was nice. And uh, I learned a lot about it while I was detained uh, for carrying a hard case through the casino because I was taking photographs. Oh. And we shipped uh, the, the case that I ordered for our camera. is like It's a hard case. Uh, with foam inside. Some might say it would look like a gun case. However, it's <laughs> it's bright orange, and it has, like, our Not logo. gun. Yeah, I spray-painted <laughs> not gun on the side, and I don't know why, was, I don't know why they would stop me. Uh, but they did. They stopped me. Uh, it was shipped in on freight, so it wasn't a problem getting it in initially, but I had to go off-site to take some photos and then come back in. at a workshop <laughs> and then come back in. And when I came back in... Um, the, the guy at the, the security at the door stopped me and said, hey, I need to see what's in that case. I said, oh, okay. And I opened it, and he, he's like, okay, camera stuff. And he tagged it, right, with a colored tag. Uh, it was green. And uh, he's like, you're going to have to, every day, you're going to have to get a new colored tag because it changes every day, and if right. we see this old tag, we need to 
you update it. And it's like, oh, okay. Um, so I couldn't go back to our workspace um, for the conference because it was closed by the time I got back. So I had to bring it to my room, uh, sleep, and then carry it down to the conference space the next day so I could continue to take photos. Um, and I knew I needed to get another tag, uh, but I didn't want to do oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because that would involve you know, walking all the way to back to the front of the hotel. Right, because nothing in Vegas is near something else. Or designed for you or to designed easily find it. for you find to it. find, yes, yeah. exactly. The, and for example, this, uh, this resort, the Wynn, has two entrances that look identical, and they're decorated exactly the same in this, like, botanical garden mm -hmm. thing with, like, um, string lights. The only difference is one has a statue of a bear and the other has a statue of a carousel. Other than that, they look exactly the same. So it's constantly just like, am I at the bear or am I at the carousel? And you're, like, texting people. And you're like, are you at the carousel? I'm at the bear. Oh, God. <laughs> um, but so that the next morning I left my room and I was like, uh, I need to try to get to the conference area with this hard case without getting a new security tag. Um, and I failed at that real fast. I thought I was doing really good. I rolled the elevator down and then they've got like, their security is crazy. Of course it makes sense because it's yeah. a casino. And not to mention the surveillance. They knew you right. didn't have that tag on before you ever got to the elevator. Right. So um, yeah, I, I got down the elevator and I, I exited uh, that little lobby. I turned left and like, I noticed when I looked to my left, there's like, ah, there's two people in stride <laughs> with me already. And this was like literally like 30 seconds uh -huh. like, <laughs> after. Um, and then so a guy stopped me and he was like, hey, um, we're going to need to see what's in that case. I was like, okay, no problem. And he's like, but I can't look at it. Security has to look at it. And they're in the middle of shift change. Oh. Uh, and then in the middle of shift change, a fight broke out on the casino oh, floor. No. And then in the middle of shift change, there was an emergency response needed in the rooms uh, of one of the rooms. <laughs> so I waited there with that guy um, for like 25 minutes. Like my coworkers are passing me and I'm like, I'm going to be late. <laughs> That's pretty good time, though, considering they had to respond to a fight and an incident in a guest room. All things considered. 25 minutes is nice. This, I, would have, I thought you were going to say I sat there for an hour and a half. No, God, that would have sucked. The guy, his name, who's, the guy who stopped me, his name is Cody, and if he's listening, hey, hey Cody. He's not. Um, but he was, he was more frustrated than I was because he needed to change posts. Right. Um, and so a guy was waiting for him to show up so that guy could go home. It's a domino effect. Yeah. And then... All uh, because you didn't want to get a new tag. Had I mean, it's true. Yeah. But I mean, fuck them. <laughs> I, mean, I, how much, I mean, how much are we paying, right? Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> exactly. Did you even have the opportunity to go get a tag? It sounds like as soon as you stepped out, they are like, well, yep. Well. I mean, they would have stopped me. You could me. have I'm been sure. like, I'm on my way to get a tag. <laughs> right. No, I, you're right. No, because they stopped me like way before I would have like been able to get to the front. <laughs> I'm a wizard, not a rogue. Trust, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, that was fun. So did you <laughs> did you go to the novelty store after that and fill the case up with, with springy snakes? <laughs> I went to the gun store. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go... More, you know, mild and say springy snakes. Yeah. So when they opened it, it would pop out snakes at them, and then they'd arrest you. I'd rather be arrested with guns. With guns. Yeah, yeah. So that I had like a cooler story to tell in prison. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say maybe maybe you don't want that. Yeah, it's probably good that it was just camera stuff. Maybe you get a lot of sleep in prison if you. I doubt sleep it. Sleep with one eye open. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else closed. <laughs> Yeah, so that was uh, that's probably the most exciting thing that happened to me in Vegas. One of my coworkers, um, there was a uh, a short man with a jug of milk who was trying to pour it on people, and they had to run from him. Hot. So there was that. Yeah. <laughs> You're into that. Yeah, man. Yeah? Fuck yeah. Tyler, oh, shit, you missed out, man. To Las Vegas now. I would have loved for Shorty you to milk like, jugs. I'm all about that. I would have loved for you to check this guy's weird. <laughs> <laughs> and he started having the second thoughts. Oh, I don't know, man. Fuck yeah, man. Won't you? Yeah, you pour that. You got any chocolate milk in there? <laughs> got any soy milk? 
gonna be Rose from Titanic. Just <laughs> lean back and hold your head up and <laughs> wait for the milk to come. The, uh, the food was pretty good. It was all right. It's good. Good Mexican food there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, had a lot of. You're actually in the Southwest. Yeah, yeah. Vegas, it's good. So. Although, honestly, like I don't know one one place where I was at, I was like, I'd rather have El Torito. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> they can't all be winners. But yeah, most of them were. I think you have a higher quotient of shitty Mex- Mexican restaurants in a place like Las Vegas or anywhere in the Southwest because just going. I feel like there's going to be more. Yeah, the yeah, odds yeah. are that you know more more ratio of bad mm-hmm. ones to good ones. We have a lot here, like a surprising number of Mexican have, restaurants oh God, here. A lot of Mexican Paducah. restaurants, and that that inclu- that's not including the you know franchise Taco Johns and Taco Bell. Right? What about yeah. locally owned? Yeah places there's at least five i can think of right now so in a relatively small area we have a lot of restaurants here yes yeah the most oh and you were saying you got a lot of stuff to talk about i do so brace yourselves it's gonna be exciting i'm braced we braced everybody braced i got my case full of snakes i'm ready to roll everything closed off (laughs) yeah for now (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we'll see what happens we'll as you keep talking. It we'll won't be for long. <laughs> right. It won't be for long, fellas. I'm going to be winking in a second. <laughs> um, nah, just, it's quantity over quality, <laughs> honestly. Um, so video games. I've, I made. I don't know if I mentioned. So, Dave, last recently you told me you had started playing Power Wash Simulator. Yeah, with Henry. Mm-hmm. And I had already played through the whole thing and... It's like my favorite game, probably. Just, it's good to chill, clean things. There's no hassle, no time limits, no nothing. It's so good. Yeah, it's good. I went digging because I, I had heard a rumor that there was going to be some SpongeBob it's, DLC. Right. And this is a true thing. It's coming soon, though. It's not out yet. But I did, in my quest for DLC, find two more uh, DLC packs that were free for... I think they were just free, not just from like Xbox Game Pass or whatever. Uh, one was Tomb Raider, which was uh, you clean a bunch of shit for Lara Croft. You clean Croft Manor, you clean her obstacle course, her Jeep. Hey, her... baby, let me clean them triangles. Yeah. Hey, baby. <laughs> Especially them front triangles. <laughs> And uh, you clean like her museum where she keeps all her artifacts and things. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was, and and like when you play Power Wash Simulator, you get text messages from the person that like hired you for the job. And in this case, you get text messages from Lara Croft and she explains what the artifacts are and how she got them and stuff. And so it's pretty neat. And then the other one was Final Fantasy. I I didn't know about this. It's wild. Final Fantasy DLC for Power Wash Simulator. And so, first, now I don't know the names of things, so you have to bear with me. Uh The first thing you clean off is like a a truck that's like shaped like a boat. It's like the back, the truck bed is almost shaped like a boat. The troke. I have no classic. idea. And, and, <laughs> classic Final and, Fantasy and, uh, vehicle. Final Fantasy VI, the, the troke. <laughs> the Remember thing, when Saban suplexed the troke? <laughs> the other thing is a motorcycle, like a, a spiky motorcycle. That's Spend probably clouds. clouds. Yeah. yeah, clouds a motorcycle. Okay. Yeah. And then you clean, there's a there's a bar, I guess, restaurant, bar. Seventh Heaven. Seventh Heaven is what it is. Thank Tifa's you. bar. Yeah. And what, uh, the, the, the the truck boat was it like the Japanese style small cab, yes. huge back. Yes. That's the that's the thing they ride on when tr- Cloud is in the motorcycle and they're on that okay. truck. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, and then you clean the seventh heaven and and the buster sword is leaned against the bar so you have to clean the buster sword, which is neat. I knew what that was. Yeah. <clears throat> Cuz I have Yeah, but. right. <laughs> Kenny has one anyway, and then um, now it's a tentacle, but <laughs> right. right. <laughs> but uh, then it was then there was some. The air went off again. It, then there was a big scorpion looking machine, big robot, a huge. That's like, the first boss you fight. Foot tall scorpion machine monster. Yeah. And then um, don't attack it when its tail is raised. The last one made me think about you, Dave. 
It was a scale model of a Mako energy plant. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm infused with that. Or yes, it was. I know. I lost it in Steak and Shake. I thought of you when I saw that it was that. Uh, I don't know anything about final, but it was the the scale model of the Mako energy plant was extremely fucking difficult. To I bet. It's pipes everywhere. Yeah. Just pipes and pipes. What was weird about that game? World Seven. Yeah. It, what's weird about that game is like. I don't know if you experience this phenomenon or if anyone that's listening may have. When I play this game, I somehow lose perspective. And I like I'm cleaning the scale model of this power plant, but the way it looks, I feel like I'm like, you know, a hundred feet up in the air because it's a scale model. Oh, I see. And I kind of lose perspective about how big I am that in makes relation sense. to this thing. Because you're working on it for a long period of time. And, and I'm like there's like things jutting out. And I always, when I do these, when I do things in Power Wash Simulator, I start from the top and work my way out in circles as best as I can because it makes the video when you finish look neater. But, and I guess it would make sense in real life too. Yeah. I, it might not in the game. I don't know. You don't but, have you know. to like worry about runoff uh -huh. in the game, but that's how I would do it right. in the real life. So I just kind of do it that sure. way. Yeah. And so I'm standing here and there's things below me and I'm like trying to clean them off. And I'm like, I find myself edging out to try and reach these little things. I'm like, God, I'm going to fall. And it's not that you get hurt, but it can, on big item, big objects, it can be a huge pain in the butt to get, get back, back up, up to the top. Yeah. Even if they have like a scaffolding or a ladder or something in place for you to use, it's still a pain and it doesn't ever go the way you want it to. So I try not to fall and I'm like trying, and then I did. I, I, I moved too far forward and then I went boop but about six inches down. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm not on a building, I'm, I'm on a model. I, I could it's literally, I could literally, yeah, I could Come literally on. turn around and <laughs> spray the, the top of this thing. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'll play Power Wash with anybody that wants to. Dave, you want to join? I, I do. think it's easy enough to just make your what you're doing joinable by friends. Yeah, and then your friends just pop in and yeah, and you do it. I think that's because that's how I think that's how Henry set it up. Okay, yeah. so um, I, I will. If anybody wants to Power Wash with me, I'm down. I've got all that content unlocked and. Ready to rock if anybody wants to play. The SpongeBob DLC comes out this summer. Apparently, it does take place in Bikini Bottom, and they've changed like your power washer to look like something from the, the show. So, were well, you talking about a reactor, like the the Mako reactor? Mako, excuse me. Uh, hey man, I call, I've called it Mako for years, and I've made a conscious effort the after remake, after yeah. the remake, where it's like, okay, I guess that's officially the way you yeah. say it. I can't say I can't say it right. I can't say manga. I always say manga. I mean, everyone knows what you're talking about. So but it doesn't anyway, Mako right. sounds better. It, it makes make the lights better. come on. Right. So. Exactly. <laughs> 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 yeah, I thought of a shark, a Mako shark, right, when right. you said that. And of course, when you brought that up years ago, I fucking literally had no idea what the fuck you were talking about. But anyway, what? So you're talking about the reactor. They should do, and thinking about SpongeBob being a cartoon, they should do a Simpsons. Like, oh uh, God! There is DLC. so much potential for yeah, DLC man. in this like game. Like a Bart versus a space. It's like it's a sequel oh, to Bart God. versus a space. You're you just clean all of the everything all the purple <laughs> oh, paint on everything. It would be perfect. I'd, I'd be shocked <laughs> if that didn't happen. <laughs> I mean, I would be shocked if it did. No, it's no, such a good idea. It You're is welcome. a really good. Idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Power Watch Simulator people. Um, that one's free. You you work out the licensing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to play it for free. Uh, the SpongeBob DLC is not free. It's like six bucks, but I'm going to buy it because I'm going to probably go back through the game again. I've never seen SpongeBob, but I'm a fan of the memes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen a few episodes of it, but I was never a fan. It used I, to annoy the shit out of me. But because that's the thing. I didn't know. Nick any... at Night's not on? What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm old. Uh, I didn't like know anything. I don't know anything about Final Fantasy, really. But I had a good you time still enjoyed that, yeah. with the DLC. Well, you had <laughs> mentioned potentially like getting in a game together and like putting on a movie at the same time. Yeah, so and like that's, do a simul watch, yeah. like a party watch yeah. kind of thing. And I was thinking about that yesterday be because cool. I got home yesterday and I was like, so I had been like dying to rewatch The Three Amigos because I haven't seen The Three Amigos in like a long time. I love that fucking and, movie. And someone before we left for Vegas use the word infamous and anytime i hear infamous <laughs> anytime i think of two things ultima online uh -huh, because of uh -huh. the titles that you get yeah. in ultima online the infamous norit uh 
And then the other thing I think of is the Three Amigos. Infamous. Infamous. It means more it means famous more than <laughs> famous. <laughs> the word that I always think of, that makes me always think about the Three Amigos is plethora. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say I have a plethora? plethora? <laughs> So yeah, fucking great movie, That's and I would love, love to watch that with you while we play Power Wash Simulator. If you would like to do that, I'm down. Um, I will watch and wash, watch, watch and, wa- and wash. Ooh, I love it. That's right. I love it. We should stream it. We can't there stream the go. movie part, but we could stream the <laughs> game part. If it's on Amazon Prime, which it's not, I think you can stream. <laughs> it's weird because Twitch, Twitch is Amazon, right? But the but it's it gets weird because it's like I think they require the people viewing to also have Prime, <laughs> so it's like one of those like SoundCloud kind of things, right? Where, it, where it's like, oh yeah, you would you pay to upload it and then they pay to download it. <laughs> That's a good deal, right? Fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, we all make money. <laughs> um, so there's that, and then. Against my better judgment, I've started playing Overwatch again, and I'm glad I did. Oh, I'm having fun. Okay, it's fine. I love the game. Okay, I good. can't help it. I got back into it. Okay, good. I gave. I I punished Blizzard. <laughs> I I pun- they, they knew. It. They knew I wasn't playing. Right. They, they released they Diablo Four. Bounce back. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> ah shit! What are we gonna do? <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. You you took my joke, Tyler. Because I was gonna say, see, I, they were so upset with. <laughs> they had to release Diablo 4 finally. Um, I had good games over the past. I gave them about a two week. I gave it about a two week hiatus, and then I went back in. Had some good games, relatively good overall games. Uh, but I, it's the end of the current season. Only people like me who actually like the game and have respect for it are playing. And the new season starts tomorrow, uh, as of today. It so you starts tomorrow, which would have been the twelfth, is when it, the thirteenth is when the new season kicks off, which is when everybody comes back and okay. starts acting like shit again. So I was gonna, I was gonna ask if you felt. <clears throat> it sounds like you felt a hit in the player base, but you think it's probably more that it's a season it's, thing. It happens it's, every season. Okay, so. The first, you know, third of the season, it's mm-hmm. everyone comes in to see the new content. They're and they're releasing a shit ton of it for mm. the se- the season six that's coming. New battle pass, new game modes. Summer the summer event is coming where you play the game called Lucio Ball, which is like Rocket League except everyone is Lucio. Or I think you have one Lucio and two others. Anyway, uh, but it's soccer, and then um, there's a new PVE event that's like. Just rub salt in the woods. Just a little, <laughs> just rubbing a little salt. One of the things that I found out about Overwatch that's coming is um, kind of a King of the Hill type mode, uh, where you, a control point basically, okay. like you get in Call of Duty. I'm, where, say that's, I'm, I'm taking that probably different than how it's sounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Dibs on no. Dale. <laughs> <laughs> I want Bobby. Fuck it. You can have Dale. Uh, Bobby doesn't have pocket sand. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have the gout. That is true. It's a great weapon. And a purse. And a purse. (laughs) I don't know you. Uh, It's like a control. I think I actually think, so there's modes in Call of Duty. There's one of them called Domination, and one is called, I think, Control Point. And I think this might be like Domination, where you have to control, you have to control two out of three, like, zones. Uh And and the Whoever has the most zones controlled at the end of the round wins. Um, and then there was another mode in Call of Duty that was called Control Point, which I think it would unlock a point. You would go to that point, try to take it, then defend it. And the longer you defended it, the more points you got. So anyway, Overwatch okay. is in introducing some modes similar to that, which okay. I think is a really good idea. And then they're also going to introduce, you know, that mode in- and and terrorists now they're just taking from everybody. Yeah. Well, speaking of, <laughs> I, there's a there's a game mode for Counter Strike. I think I think it's Counter Strike where you can like hide as an object, like you turn yourself into a chair or something. Really, and Naruto you, mode. That's right. It may be. You can do that in I, Fortnite. I know you can do it in Fortnite. It's weird that like Counter Strike would be like uh, they base everything on real quote I, realism, I, right? I think 
it may not be Counter Strike. I know it's a mode in Call of Duty, like you can play where you hide as a chair or a plant. Fortnite has it too, where you can turn into something right. and hide. And it's in, fun and because you get to run around as a trash can. Just run around as a trash can, <laughs> but you got to try to not be identified. That's what because- I do every day. <laughs> Girl, same. <laughs> it's like when you look at those, compare the differences in the two pictures kind of deals. If you can, was that trash can there before? And so you try to, like, you know, shoot the trash can. Shoot the trash can. And if, it's, if they get up and run, then you found them. I just like climbing ladders and shit as a trash yeah. can. <laughs> you look like Aqua Teen Hunger Force, yeah. maybe. Henry laughs. He also laughs whenever, like, we're driving, one of us will be in the passenger seat and just constantly slam the button that makes you look out the oh, window. Because yeah. you just start clipping through the truck real fast. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to the new season of Overwatch. I'll probably still get salty and mad at it, but I can't, I'm not going to not play. Can't quit you. Uh, can't play it on PC yet because unfortunately I don't think the power supply I received is working. So we're still investigating this particular problem. Okay. Not to say that I'm not grateful for receiving it, Mm -hmm. but I don't think it works. Uh, next up... I heard about a game today called Starfield. I have never heard of this one, and it's by Bethesda. Yeah, it's basically Fallout in space. Uh, it's huge open game where you can. They have a thousand planets that you can fully explore. And you oh. could build your own bases, and you could build your own ships, which you can fly. And there's space combat, and it looks. Fucking cool. I'm going to be playing that bad boy this year. September is when that releases. I am super excited for this because I was let down by Fallout 76. I never, I didn't play it. Just, I think it got better, but my initial experience with it, <laughs> my initial experience with it wasn't great. Yeah. So I never went back to it. Mm-hmm. But I like Fallout 4 and Fallout New Vegas and those games. I think this one's going to be like, a gigantic version of those. Uh-huh. So I'm um, definitely very interested in playing that. On the non-video game front, I have some news. Okay. We, and I mean, by we I mean myself and Captain Gunner John Turley, have been in touch with McDonald's. About the fans? About the fans. What? <laughs> what did you find out? Today, John was on the phone with the woman that is one of the uh, one runs the office here, the business office for the McDonald's branches here mm-hmm. in Paducah. Uh, she's a really cool person. And, and I I have not had the chance to talk to her, but John's been working a, a, an issue for them. And he remembered to ask, her name's Penny, and he remembered to ask Penny about the fans from the mall restaurant. Your from the dog mall runs McDonald's. the McDonald's? That's right. <laughs> so my dog's name is Miss Money Penny. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This woman's name is Penny. <laughs> <laughs> JC. <laughs> yes. Uh, I am sad to report the fans are gone. Oh. She is going to double check, but those were taken out of the that whole restaurant when it closed, it was gutted, and they took the fans, and all of that went into a storage. Now, we're talking about fucking Just 40, 30 years ago. 30 years ago. <laughs> they were taken to a storage unit, and from what I understand, they liquidated everything in the storage unit. They either sold it off or threw it out, and I think the fans were probably lost in that process. Um, now that wasn't really thirty years ago. We have to back that up, right? Because like, there's no way I'm that old. Because <laughs> uh, that would have been like no. ninety three, sure. right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure. There's no way that was still up in ninety three. It was a, it was there when I was in high school, and that was later than ninety three. Would you like? Would you prefer twenty? <laughs> yes. Let's go with twenty. It then. makes a world of difference. We'll go with twenty. <laughs> I think it's thirty, but we'll go with twenty. Uh, so she is going to check. So okay. to see if these still exist anywhere. If That'd she does, then I'm going to go down there and flirt with her until she gives me a fan. She's like in her 60s, so it should be easy. Um, I'm going to try to get a fan. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I could get the fan 
Old chicks love this dude. <laughs> if I can get the fan that's assembly. Just a fact. <laughs> if I can get the fan assembly, mm-hmm. I'm bringing it go here. Ahead, we'll mount it up we're here to have hang it, going. it in, the, in the studio. <laughs> but then, what will we do with this water stain that looks like a six? <laughs> that has to stay. I like it. Yeah, we won't cover that. Okay, <laughs> good. They're small enough. It won't cover. Okay, anything. good. And it won't circulate any air. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're all gonna have to start smoking. <laughs> to, to replicate that McDonald's experience. <laughs> Way ahead of you. Uh, so anyway, I did, however, ask. Now I did not get a chance to ask John about this. This this was today that this happened. Okay. Breaking uh, news. I did not have a chance to ask John about this yet, but I did ask him to to get. Penny to find any pictures they might have of the old McDonald's in the mall. Nice. So if we can get the pictures, we will post them for everyone to see so they can understand what we're talking about. Because <laughs> <Yep. laughs> uh, the fans, you can't miss them. No, nope. they're the they're, there's like they're really impossible to miss. So that's our McDonald's update. This should be a regular segment. McDonald's update. Breaking news. But it's the... Yeah, right. You got it there, man. Yeah, that's where I was. I've decided that I know that I cover things that I've watched every week, but I'm going to I'm gonna do a little bit of a different... I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Okay. I'm introducing a new rating system. Okay. And for things that I have finished or that I find worthy, I am going to run off a list of what I call goodies out of my goodie bag. Okay. okay. Ian's goodie bag. The goodie bag. Okay. However, well, I'll get to this. I'll get to the goodie bag in a minute. Okay. First, the stuff I watched rating system. Okay. I'm still going to give it stars. Okay. But I'm not going to say, Wiz and Sage says, check it out. Uh, because, what? Because I've ripped that off from Joe Bob Briggs. Who cares? I don't care. We also, we also ripped off, hell yeah. Listen. There's, <laughs> from that guy we don't know his name. There's more. There's more. <laughs> People love to check it out. I can still say check it out if you want me to, but I've also, I've just got a different to you. list. If it's, if, okay. I, if I require that it be watched by you or whoever. <laughs> Make time, okay. make time for this one. Okay, is that the new? That's the right time for this make one. Make time for this okay. one. Okay, if it's fine, uh huh. Add it to the list. Okay, all right. That's okay. Next one down. The next one down is, don't bother unless you're bored. Okay. Okay. And the last one, you have been warned. Okay. All right. All right. I've given a lot of thought to this. Okay. It's not going to matter to most people, but I had a lot of fun with it. Okay, so it matters to you. That's all, all that of matters. You. No, I'm teasing. The first thing I watched this past week is a is a movie called Fire Island. Okay. It is not a good movie. <laughs> okay. It is a horrible, horrible, horrible movie. Okay. And it's there are two movies called Fire Island. This one is was in 2023. That this one was made, I believe. It's a horror movie. It's not. A, oh, okay. It's not the other one. That's what I thought it was. I don't yeah. know about the other uh-huh. one, but this one is also called Fire Island. Um, it is a very, and this is not why it's shitty. I'm going to say this out front. It's a very, very uh, LGBTQIA plus thing. It's a, it's, and they promote pride and they promote. Uh, this life, their lifestyle, and they just, just you know, that part of it's fine. They do get a little bit over the top in letting you know that they support LGBTQIA plus, right? So, but that's not it. It's just the acting is terrible. You look, look, just because you have a message doesn't mean that you are capable of delivering the message well. Mm. And this movie does not deliver it well. On top of being a bad horror movie, uh, bad acting. Uh, there's some really creepy, scary kind of scenes in it, but they do not make up for the shit, just awfulness of this movie. One star. Wow. You have been warned. Okay. I did start watching Demon Slayer. Oh, nice. I, I need to start. I'm only like three or four episodes in. I'm enjoying it, mm-hmm. but 
I haven't watched enough to give it any sort of rating, but I did buy a Demon Slayer action figure today at Walmart, if that tells you <laughs> how much I like it. <laughs> I like it so far. Sweet. I heard it's great. It's I need- a McFarlane action figure. Nice. It's $10. Okay. It's a lot for an action figure, but I don't care. I buy anime shit with money I don't have. The next movie... Don't we all? (laughs) The next thing I wanted to touch on, I've already talked about this, was ghost stories. Right. Talked about how much I love this show. Right. And how fucking hilarious the dub, the English dub is. Right. But just telling you guys how much I love this show isn't enough. So I have a goodie bag. Okay. For ghost stories, if you'd like to hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this isn't all. This isn't all? This isn't all. I've got one more. Okay. To talk about. Okay. That's why I said I had a lot, because I got a list of things. You said you had a lot because you have a lot. I have a lot. That makes sense. I do. I like it when it makes sense. I mean, so often sometimes it, it does. does. <laughs> sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. So here is the goodie bag. We didn't say just goodie bag. Okay. For ghost stories. Okay. Save your questions for the end. Okay. Sure. Of the show or uh, the end of it, something. Oh, okay. I'm like the stinger. Or... Yeah. Okay. No. Whenever after the list. Oh, okay. All if right. you have questions, I don't give a fuck. You can <laughs> ask questions if you want to. Okay. All right. But got it's it. funnier if I read the list. Uh huh. It's not going to be funny at all. But if it's funnier <laughs> if I read the list. Uh huh. Okay. The way I've written it. Read it. Doing, do, by the way, doing this list was 100% my idea and not at all inspired by the drive in totals done on Joe Bob Briggs' last drive in on Shutter. Okay. Did you get like some criticism or something about Joe Bob Briggs? Or? It's, it's Catholic guilt. Okay. <laughs> That's like, it's the second time it's come up. Okay. But it's all, it's your. I stole this idea from Joe Bob Briggs. Okay. He does this thing after, before he goes, do, watches a movie called Drive In Totals. Okay. My list is similar to driving okay. totals. I just because wanted, I love that segment. I wanted to know if I needed to have a stern conversation with somebody no. to leave you the fuck alone. Okay. I don't even <laughs> think Joe Bob Briggs would care. Yeah. I definitely. It's a podcast is totally different. I definitely know, but Darcy wouldn't care. His co-host, mm-hmm. Darcy, the male girl, who dabbled in porn briefly, which I watched, which I was unimpressed with. Oh. But anyway, last the last drive-in on Shutter. I'm plugging it, so now I get to steal Joe Bob's ideas okay. that he's been doing since the fucking '80s. Okay. All right. For real, the ghost stories good or bad goodie bag contains one or more of the following: frequent early 2000s pop culture references, a ghost released due to rampant urbanization tropes. Uh, one forbidden haunted old school building, references to the decline of Christian Slater's career, <laughs> gratuitous panty shots, not so gratuitous panty peaks, uh, one Sotsky fourth wall break inquiring as to why the viewer is trying to look up her skirt, uh, one set of Sotsky bicycle shorts under her skirt after that to prevent people from looking up her skirt, <laughs> one demon possessed cat with heterochromia. Frequent, overly exaggerated, preschooler crying, slut shaming, Jew shaming, boner shaming, mentally challenged preschooler shaming, Christian zealot convert shaming, uh, late in the series unbleeped F-bombs, jabs at the early 2000s religious right, uh, dead mother possession, one bleeding painting slash time travel portal, and storylines that rip off the ring. And I do have one notable out-of-context quote from this movie. Too much coffee. I should have just pissed in the sink in the teacher's lounge. No one would have known, or maybe in Miss Hadley's thermos. And that's my goodie bag (laughs) for uh, ghost stories. So if you want to watch it, those are the things you should look out for. Okay. Okay. All right. So I don't have to rehash it, you see. I don't have to keep talking about it now because I've done a list of the things in the show that I found to be... Close that book. Interesting. It's closed. I can hear the people laughing already. Yes. At this fucking hilariousness. All right, the next thing I watched and I'm caught up on is Hell's Paradise. Oh, yeah, that's a great show. Great show. 
I'm only caught up about eight episodes because I don't watch them when they're not overdubbed. I'm an episode behind, so you're okay. probably more current than I am. I am on episode eight. I think that's what we're on too. Okay. So uh, there's nine and ten are out on Crunchyroll as of today, but they're not dubbed yet, and I don't want to watch them dubbed or right them, or subbed. I want to watch them dubbed. Sure. But I'm enjoying. This this show is animated by Mappa, mm-hmm. which was which did uh, Attack on Titan, mm-hmm. the final season, and Chainsaw Man. Mm-hmm. Um, so honestly, I feel like it's hard to go wrong. Uh, this is a really good show. I've really been into it. Thank you, Dave, for, for the recommendation. Yeah, man, I'm glad you like it. I'm so into it that uh, I've got a goodie bag. Okay, all right. For Hell's Paradise. So, oh, by the way. Ghost Stories gets three stars. Make time for this one. Okay. Okay. All right. Next time I won't have to explain all this. I'll just do it. I'd like it if you would every time. Okay. (laughs) For you, I will. Thank you. Those holes opening up yet for you guys? I mean, they started opening up when you were talking about bike shorts. Mm. (laughs) Hell's Paradise goodie bag contains one or more of the following. Okay. Elixir of Immortality based Shogun. Mm-hmm. Or, I'm sorry, Obsessed Shogun. Mm-hmm. I fucked it up right off the bat. Elixir of Immortality, Obsessed Shogun. Uh, Record breaking amounts of internal dialogue. And this is in the first episode, eight episodes. Uh, Record breaking amounts of internal dialogue. Several knockoff Titans, uh, knockoff Anya, uh, Anya Forger, knockoff <laughs> Katsuki Bakugo slash Denji Kun from Chainsaw Man mm-hmm. Hybrid. Uh, knock off L from Death Note minus all the snacking. Knock off Groot. Numerous random <laughs> beheadings. Uh, courtesan beheading. A giant man asphyxiation followed by beheading. Uh, samurai misogyny. Samurai self deprecation. Street urchin wisdom. Slightly self conscious but wise. Facially disfigured wife. Mm. Ambiguously gendered supporting characters. Gender fluid gods. Mm-hmm. Giant hungry slash murderous baby. Uh, poisonous human faced butterflies, several sex sets, statues, and a uh, bathhouse trained samurai. Uh, my notable out of context quote for this one is I want to live my life on my own terms. That is all I ask. And I believe that is something all people desire, no matter their gender or even their status. The desire to decide one's way of life is a basic emotion shared by all of humanity, is it not? That was not meant to be funny. That was actually meant to be a commentary on how absolutely well written this show <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, it's super well written. Uh, so this one so far has gotten three stars. Make time for this one. And that's um, what you read. It's like one of my, that's a really powerful. It really yeah, is. It, and it speaks to the times. Yeah. They're, they're really getting it make they're doing the, they're making the statement that fire island was trying to make without only in a good way yeah in a in a much more effective way yeah that show uh uh hell's paradise does a really good job of um balancing like action with uh these really like poignantly sad kind of moments it's amazing to me how and i'm not going to spoil anything but i will warn the the viewer if you watch the show don't get too attached to anybody that's what i love about it they straight up do not take that into consideration it is and there'll be characters that die and you've only seen them on screen for maybe five minutes right but you get their backstory, and then they, they, suddenly you're attached to this person, mm. and then gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really emotional. I mean, mm. there was the one that was at the end of the last episode I saw mm-hmm. got to me. Yeah. Like I was choking up a little bit, and I was like, you know, five minutes before that, I was like, get him. I know, right? <laughs> it's yeah. really effective. Yeah, uh, really well done show. And uh, again, I thank you for the recommend. Because yeah, man, I'm glad I, you like it. I cannot recommend it back to the audience enough. I think it's great, uh, yeah. Because it's good. I don't think it's better than Chainsaw Man. I agree with that. But it's not that it's not great. It's just it's different. Just different. Than, it's just yeah. different than Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man has like Chainsaw Man has energy that like 
It's crazy energy. It's crazy energy. It's yeah. I mean, there's I don't know anything like it. And so far, I'm not in love with anyone in um, Hell's Paradise the way I'm in love with Power mm, mm-hmm. from Chainsaw Man. So, yeah, check it out. Good shit. I hope you guys liked my lists, and that's all I have for this week. Cool. I won't be doing a list for everything, just the stuff that I think is like worthy of it. Okay. So, cool. What do you got, Tyler? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. At all? I mean, I'm about to be very busy for like the next month at work. Ugh. So that's Did what I'm doing this week. Steam table thing worked out? Oh, yeah. No, I'm still waiting on that. I was able to rush rush a repair, so hopefully that'll happen this week or next week. Okay. But now we're just going to You're still doing converting. the thing where you have to have a giant walk and... Yep. Mm. Yep. Yep. So having a having a replacement. The cooks are very upset. I bet. Because <laughs> <it's, 'cause laughs> they are. Because it sucks. So having a replacement's going to seem like a godsend, right? Yep. I mean, it's going to be like we. I can't believe how much we took the steam table for granted. Because mm-hmm. uh, that's then you know hopefully we got a second one so this will never happen again. Yeah. And then yeah. So right now it's just getting ready to convert everything from one company to the next company. Okay. So I'll have to work this weekend, and it'll be. Once this team comes in, yeah, so the next next month is gonna be fun. But after that it'll be fine. Okay. I got that I got that Street Fighter Six. How's that? It's good. I saw Ryu Car streaming it and he yeah. didn't really like it. Yeah, it's cool. It's like uh I almost didn't get it on release because I was burned so horribly by Street Fighter Five mm. on release. Mm. Because when it released, I hear, I hear that it got a lot better, but I was so mad at it that I was like, okay, well, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm done. I, I understand that. Yeah. That's what happened to me with Overwatch. Because it was no like. Way. I mean, not probably not as bad, but. <laughs> no, this was, I mean, this was bad. Like yeah. they should, when they released Street Fighter Five, it was just kind of like. Oh, within like two weeks, it was down to like 20 bucks. I remember it being like. Yeah, it was unbelievably stupid. Bad. It was yeah. stupid. And it's like they didn't make a lot of improvements over four. And the roster was really small. There was like no game modes. I mean, it was just so, it was just an unfinished game that they released. I think I'm not positive. I can't 100 percent remember. I think they just rushed it to get it out in time for Evo, the fighting game tournament. So did you know this? beforehand no. or did they play it all really close to their vans? <laughs> no, I did not know this. So when I bought it, I was very disappointed. Was uh, it a full price game at, when you bought it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But 6 is 6 has been a lot. It, it feels like it feels like Capcom is making up for 5 with 6 because 6 has like so many game modes in it and it's like there's there's like three main different categories of how you can play the game. And within those three categories, there are different modes. So there's like an arcade mode and there's like this battle hub mode where it's like you make your avatar, you make your fighter essentially. Uh, and you've probably seen maybe some memes of like fighters that people have created. Cause you can make like fucking monsters essentially like, oh. like dudes are like, arms that like go down oh, to the yeah, floor yeah. and shit so they can like reach real far and <laughs> um but like in that hub you can like there are arcade games you can sit down and like play old street fighter games like with other people um they had um and they switch out the games and stuff so that's that's neat um, this is in the new one yeah this is okay. in the new one six it just came out okay. earlier earlier this month okay yeah yeah uh it's cool they've got this mode this world tour mode where you take your avatar, and it's essentially like a um, it's like a story mode where you play through the game as the character you created, and like you um, you fight. It's all takes place in Metro City from Final Fight. Uh, so like it opens up with like this big like statue of the mayor, uh, Mike Hagar, and uh, everyone in the city fights. Uh, so, and that's how you level up, you fight, you challenge people on the street, NPCs and stuff to fight. And as you level up, uh, you get to choose like the moves that you can do and stuff. So it's a really like, it's a really neat mode. It's literal street fighter. Yeah. Walking through the streets, picking fights with people. With everybody. And and, and everybody will accept a fight. So, I mean, like you can go up to an old lady and challenge her to a fight. (laughs) I mean, like every, everybody, if there's a person I have not run into a person yet where you can't challenge them to a fight. Um, it's almost like 
It's almost like violent Pokemon. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it's because it's, it's, it's an open you mean world. Pokemon. <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't tell PETA. Shit, sorry. Yeah, PETA approves of Street Fighter VI. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever played the P- that PETA version they had on their website? Yeah. God. Um, and then there's the regular mode. There's like the arcade mode where you play as like the the fighters. And they've got some new fighters in there. There's a character, Luke, who I really like. Um, here, I haven't even touched Ryu yet, which is like wild because he's my go-to. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I've probably only put like eight hours into the game, uh, because we love Katamari, uh, Damashi reroll, uh, came out and I bought that for a song. Uh, and I was, cause I was going to Vegas and was like, Oh, this will be great. I love Katamari. Yeah. You were telling me about this before you left. Oh man. And it, I was like, this will be great on the plane. This will be great to like, Katamari is like one of those games where it's like, I can unwind like that is a game where I can like play it before bed and it like gets me it relaxes it's relaxing um because it's like and I remember mentioning it and as I was playing it Ian I I was like there's a better way to describe this game it's kind of like oh thanks I forgot to hit record on the backup <laughs> oh. <laughs> um it's kind of like it's like a driving game meets a puzzle game because you're driving the Katamari ball um, but the controls on it are kind of like you have to push both sticks forward in order to make it go forward. Like a tank. Both sticks back, yeah. And then like if you want to turn it left, you put right stick forward, left yeah. stick back. Yeah, or a zero turn lawnmower. Right, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, it is, like with those levers. Yeah, yeah totally, 100%. Uh, so it's like, and, and it's done that way, I feel like, on purpose because it's 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 not supposed to be super easy to control it's supposed to be a little it's a little tough to control and then the puzzle element is um picking things up in the correct order and then like um what's really what i love about it is like you can play the same level over and over again and you'll notice something different every time uh because the levels are so big um and there are a lot of different ways to complete them so big Big fan. I've put more time into that than I have Street Fighter Six. So um it's nice playing it on like a like a modern modern console with like up res and all that. Okay. Um I don't know how much it is regularly, but I got it for like three bucks, which is totally worth the price. Uh I don't know if CDKeys.com is legit, but when I looked it up everywhere, they're like, yep. So it's like, okay. Oh, damn. Right. So that's where I've been buying. I bought Street Fighter 6 there new for like 40 bucks. So, damn. Yeah. Okay. So I love that it's called CD. I know. That's why I'm like, this is no way this is legitimate. <laughs> Our generation is legitimately going, well, uh, uh, nope, right, nope, right, not exactly. that. But hey, some Russian lady on YouTube told me it was legit, so plausible deniability. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Russian. No, it's real site. You get real games for not it much money. It is good site. It is good site. It's not potato. Spend money. Yeah. So, I mean, they they all activated on Steam just fine. I think it's one of those sites that, like, buys keys. Yeah. Because they'll, like, they'll run out. Because t- today, earlier, I was like, oh, yeah, I wonder if they have the other Katamari reroll the, that came out. Um, and they didn't, so it's like okay, so they don't keep these keys in stock, so I don't know, whatever. Hey, you got yours, I got mine. <laughs> no. Um, and then I mean, that's kind of it. We rewatched the Mario movie, and uh, I saw a video on Reddit the other day. Which, by the way, if you aren't boycotting Reddit just a little bit in these last couple of days, you oh, I didn't know be. what's going on. Well, as of today, uh, is it the Tencent thing or Reddit? Reddit is has char- started deciding that they're going to start charging third party developers for API calls to their to Reddit. Oh, uh, to the tune of twenty four cents per one thousand calls, uh, which means that developers like the guy that develop I can't remember his name, and I'm sorry for that because Apollo is an app that you can use to browse Reddit. Right. And I've been a sub I bought Apollo. Like that was one of the first apps I ever bought on the iPhone. Uh, it, it's an amazing app. He's been actively developing it since 2000 and like six. 
It's an amazing app. It worked exactly as advertised. It was absolutely worth like the $6 price tag to have the pro version. Uh, and because it's such a popular app, Reddit has decided that they're going to start making this call. So in protest, a lot of subs are going dark uh, for for today and tomorrow, which would have been the 12th and the 13th and the 14th, uh, which is the day we publish. So this episode, if it came out, the boycott's still underway until the 15th. Um, a lot of subs going dark because the CEO has decided he wants to make money mm -hmm. off of the people that are calling Reddit and, and piping it out to the app. On, to their app. So a, a number of like, so as of June 30th, Apollo is going away, which is he's having to shut it down because the cost to him yearly, if he had to pay Reddit for however much they, his app is used to hit Reddit would be like $20 million a year. Whew. Let me ask you this. What the fuck? It's insane. Does Apollo do like sponsored posts and shit? Do they show up in Apollo? Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. This is like Reddit's way of like get. Uh, that's They're trying their to get some money, and I understand. Well, or that. to run them out of fucking town, so that because well, they, I've already switched to the fucking default Reddit app, which I've which been suck. I don't like that I've, at all. I mean, I haven't used any alternatives, it's but it's fine. fine for me. It works okay. It's just a. I'm not used to seeing ads. Right. Which, again, I understand that Reddit needs to make money right. to be able to stay open. Mm -hmm. The problem is that, first of all, they're not given enough notice. They just suddenly decided this and announced it. Yeah. And this guy's the guy that developed Apollo has been on the phone with the, them and trying to get someone to work with him on this. Uh -huh. And Reddit CEO actually came out and said that this guy was being threatening to him and all this. And the, the, the guy that de developed Apollo recorded every conversation and took copious notes so and none of that's true but i think the the price that they're trying to charge is an impossible one on purpose yeah they and to your point they're trying to run these third party apps out of town so that the only way you can get to reddit is through their app, right. their proprietary app so that they can advertise to you and they can suggest subreddits and they can do it the way that it was designed to be. Again, I understand that I, I want Reddit to stay up. I just think that it's sort of predatory for them to set the price so high and make it to where it would be logistically impossible to generate the kind of money to do it. They've, Reddit has already said, we don't care how many of you go dark. We don't care how many of you boycott us. We're not changing the price. None of this is going to make a difference, so don't waste your time. But they're going to do it anyway. So as of a whole shitload of subs are dark right now, they're all going to come back. They're all going to be – it's going to be fine. Yeah. But it's just – it's not. Uh, it doesn't foster any goodwill. No, you know what I mean. Definitely doesn't. And I mean, you saw what happened with Dig. Yeah, I did. And and it's like the Reddit to me is like sort of the last bastion of there'll be something the else. old internet. And I don't. Oh, use, I, get it. I don't use Facebook. I don't use Twitter. I don't use Instagram or any of that shit. Mm -hmm. But Reddit's where I get. You want my hot internet. or not? Huh? You want hot or not? Hot like or not. on it, hot or not? Like, do yeah. I have photos on it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is yeah, that man. is hot or not still around? I'm sure. Of course, not. I have photos on it. <laughs> well, and just to, <laughs> I wonder what routes do. <laughs> I'm gonna go to right now. Just to make a point, uh, the the CEO of Reddit right now um, used to be a mod, and uh, his his the subreddit that he moderated was jailbait. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Remember that controversy. That's no longer around for a good reason. But uh, yeah, so anyway, I think it's trashy and I think it sucks, but it's Reddit. So what are you going to do? Hotornot.com now uh, directs to chatdate.app. <laughs> chatdate.app. You're going to download that app, right? I mean, you can download it on the App Store, so it can't be that bad. Well, it's got to right? at least have some <laughs> modicum of safety. <laughs> So anyway, I don't even know what got me on the Reddit subject. I apologize for digressing. No, I didn't know about it. I'm glad you said something. Uh -huh. I mean, 
I'm literally only on Reddit for one thing. So, and I don't think any of those subreddits are going dark because those OnlyFans <laughs> people aren't. need to make money. <laughs> they aren't. Yeah. They're not the porn subreddits are fine. <laughs> no, wait, what? <laughs> oh, what were you talking about? I, I, uh, I started streaming uh, the last the Swan Song DLC on Rogue Legacy Two. Yeah, I read that. How is that? Uh, I like it. Uh, I did not like the the challenge, uh, you know, expansion on Rogue Legacy One because I just like I started playing a little bit because I wanted to get I because I platinum Rogue Legacy One. And then, you know, a year later, they released these challenges with, like, three more trophies. They're like, all right, I want to get all the trophies again. I played it for, like, a few hours. Like, I don't like this at all. Fuck it. I'm done. Uh, this is a lot better. Cool. So they released three new modes. Uh, I'm doing the 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 third one, the lowest tier one, which is, like, thema, Themaphobia or something, where you have 15 lives to finish the base game. And then they've made a few modifications to make it a little bit easier with like gold spend and what jobs automatically unlock in the castle and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm about halfway through those lives and three fourths of the way through. So I think I'll finish that. And then uh, the next one is 15 lives to finish the prime version of the estuaries. And then the last one is like true rogue mode. I'm not sure the exact details on it. Hmm. So. Maybe That's you don't fine. get. Maybe you don't keep anything at yeah, all. Yeah, you might not. Just one I mean, life. Yeah, maybe. And like probably gold and stuff doesn't carry over and all that. Yeah. That's interesting. So yeah, we'll see. cool. So I like that. Good. But other than that, that's it. More Modern Family. We're on the last season of Modern Family, the eleventh season. That went on for a while. Yeah, it's still good. It's really well written. And then yeah. when, when I'm not there, Melissa's watching uh, the Jersey Shore Family Vacation. Oh my goodness! Catch up with that. She loves Jersey Shore. Okay, so I've watched some of it with her. It's like, oh, it's not bad. How about we watch Modern Family when this episode's done, though? It's kind of thing. So, what is? So I know what Jersey Shore is. Uh-huh. I didn't realize that there were spinoffs to Jersey well, Shore. It's, it's them now, just like oh, yeah, they picked back up and shit. And now they have like Fuck, families. It's been and that shit. long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're all married and all have kids. Yeah, and twenty years. <laughs> God, no, it hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Has not. <laughs> Would you accept 10? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that seems all right. They're all sober and in rehab and shit like that. You exactly what you think. So. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Is it? Did you watch the original Jersey no, Shore? No. I, then I can imagine that, like, As you're where are they now is probably not, like, yeah. <laughs> your, your cup of tea. Yeah, you know? lost on you, huh? It's, it, yeah. it means it's interesting enough. You know, yeah, you could tell from. I mean, I saw a little bit of it. You could tell they've all grown up and matured and stuff. But it's still, it's interesting enough. But I don't by mind default, it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 by default, the situation went to prison for a while, so he's he's a different person now. Yeah, yeah, did tax he, evasion. Did he find wow. Jesus? No, he just found sobriety. <laughs> okay, so or it found him. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, I think you still have to find it when you're in prison. I think it's for, I think it actually might be easier to get high and <laughs> drunk in prison. Oh really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing out here? <laughs> Being free. It comes, it comes at a cost. I heard those quotation marks, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to take a break and take some calls or take some calls? Let's I'm down a, for whatever. Take a little break. Okay. okay. We'll come back. Knock out some of these calls. Sounds good. We've got about an hour right now. Yep. Okay. Well, if I could find the right button here. Stop. Welcome to the show. Voodoo witch doctors here in the United States. Do they really exist, or is this just tabloid hooey? We'd love you to call in with your comments. So, you claim that your son was brainwashed by voodoo witch doctors and forced to recruit others. Let's take a call. Hello, Sally. Mr. Adams, please stop calling. We do not know where they meet. Let's take another call. Gomez, why don't we go for a drive? The whole family. A drive? And Miss Gilligan? All right. Uh, Tyler, we are ready to go when you are, good sir. 
All right, let's take some calls. Let's do that. Let's do just exactly that. I bought ring doorbells yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. I've, had, I've got them, too. And they've been sitting in a box on my counter for about a year. I can I help you hook those up. up. <laughs> I just, I just, they're not bad. I yeah, they're, they're easy, yeah. <laughs> uh, now I can see almost all the way around my house because those cameras are good. All right, we're ready. Um, here we go. We're doing calls. This is from area code 828. Good afternoon, Ted Fox. It's uh, VR Boy Brew Pounder. Brew Pounder. Hey, Brew Pounder. Uh, so I told you a while ago that I just got that PSV art, and it was not as good as the Oculus Quest 2. And Tyler and Dave, yes, who play old games, I'll tell you, I take it all back. You know, once you get over that screen door effect and that low resolution, oh, buddy, that thing is just... I don't have a PC, so I can't play the PC VR like y'all fucking classy guys. But, like, you know, I'll tell you, I'm playing that Resident Evil 7. Oh, buddy, it, oh, it's so scary to me. And I'll tell you, I'm getting into it, and I'm all scared, and I'm doing things. I'm running from things, and I'm having a good time. <laughs> and I'll tell you, so, uh, so I take almost, it all back. He's almost boom hour. Boom hour yeah. and layer the cable guy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to tell this to Brew Pounder as we're talking to his past self. If I could only somehow communicate to him, stay out of that poison ivy, bud. Your <laughs> VR days are numbered. <laughs> PSVR is pretty good. I'm really excited about that PSVR, too. But, yo, I'll tell you. Uh, anyways, so um, a battle, like, who would you rather uh, mess with? Uh, the the things from the, the people from Resident Evil 7, the guys in that really nice mansion down in the south where y'all from? Or um, the the things with the exploding neck. I've never played Resident Evil, but the thing with the exploding neck monsters from Resident Evil Four. Or uh, do you uh, you want to fight them zombie dogs like uh, Jacob, a wolf hunting fan? Uh, uh, love you guys very much. Uh, and uh, VR boys out. And don't right. talk to me about classy. You got a. I know you got a PSVR two. Yeah, my dude, and those things are like a billion goddamn dollars. Not <laughs> stuff. I haven't played a Resident Evil in depth since two. Yeah, I was about to say I I haven't played four, five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. So I guess the I know dogs, the dogs. The dogs. <laughs> those ring a bell. Yeah. <laughs> Exploding necks. I don't know about those. <laughs> I've never played a Resident Evil game, so yeah. I don't know anything about them except the movies. I know the dogs as well. And the guy that drags the sword behind it? No, that was Silent Hill. Silent Hill, Hill. Mm-hmm. Pyramid Hill. Also yeah. a movie I never played, or a game I never played, but watched the movie. So The dogs? So the dogs. Dogs, dogs win. Yeah. Easy. Okay. By yeah. a landslide. <laughs> <laughs> dogs have it. Thanks for the call. Yes, thanks for Pounder. And again, if, if you're getting this message in the past, you got to stay out of that poison ivy. There's bud. a good chance he is. And then, because if you don't, you're not going to be able to play your VR, your beloved VR, uh, because your face is going to be really swollen right. up. And you're going to refer to it as some form of swollen vagina. Uh, so just stay out of the poison ivy, sending this message to the past. Okay. Keep that vagina tight. Keep that vagina tight, baby, that face vagina. Uh, let's see here. We've got a call from... Beloved Adam. Hey. Here we go. What's up, Tad Pog? It is your beloved Adam. Hi, Adam. I don't feel like I've called in a while for no particular reason other than I'm just lazy. As far as we're concerned, you just recently called, if that means anything to you. I feel like I've been a little disconnected with Tad Pog because we haven't had any Twitch streams for a while, and I haven't caught up in episodes to listen to to find out why we haven't had any streams. So I'm kind of living in a constant state of mystery, and I, I kind of like it. I, I was about to say, it. that's <laughs> kind of nice. We can solve the mystery for you. Tyler streams now sometimes twice a week on YouTube. He pops in sometimes. So there we go. He knows. You know, good. I'm sending this to Adam in the past. In the past. The stream, even though I can only tune in for... 45 minutes before I fall asleep. Those 45 minutes are basically the best part of my entire week. But nonetheless, 
I just wanted to call you guys because uh, today is my daughter's birthday. February 26th, 2022. Happy birthday to beloved Adam's daughter. Happy birthday. She's 30 now. Yeah. She turned two today, which is insane. And uh, I felt like it was uh, kismet to call you guys because, A, I called you guys and told you the day, I think, I found out that I was going to be a dad. Yeah. And then I I called you guys, I think, when I found out that we were having a girl. Yes. And and I thought, what better, what, what two better grown men that I, for one, have never personally met, nor Three now. my daughter has ever met, who better to call on her birthday morning and say, hey, today's my kid's birthday, other than Tyler and David. Mm-hmm. I can't think of two better guys. Maybe the Thank two you. guys from Perfect Strangers, but that's neither here nor there, because I'm doing this right now, and I called you. Maybe Cousin Bow. We, we accept your yeah. offer to be her godparents. <laughs> yeah. All three of us, like yeah. my three dads, my three godparents. My three godparents. Yes. Just write Tad you Pog on forget the Balky. church form, <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, he said, forget Balky. What? No. Am I right? Anyway. No, he's the trustworthy one. I just want you guys one. to know that I love you so much. <laughs> he's flaky. And, uh, so grateful for you, okay. grateful to share life moments with you. And one day, I'm going to meet you guys in person. Uh, it's probably not going to be a prom, so uh, you guys can encourage that. But I'm coming to your house. Not right now, because my daughter's birthday. But maybe after that. All right. Whenever. Anyway, I love you guys. I uh, I can't wait to talk to you again soon. All right. Bye. Bye. Whenever Tadpog Roadshow starts, we'll come see you. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Thanks for the call. Adam. Happy belated you. birthday to your mm-hmm. wonderfully wonderful little girl who has probably had another birthday. Uh, uh-huh. Since, yes, she has had another birthday since then. So happy... Birthday we'll, we'll twice. get there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, we, yeah. We'll get there. Uh, beloved Adam called back. March 3rd, 2022. Okay. Maybe it's Adam, can you dog. hear us? Hello? <laughs> Adam, Adam, are you there? Is this a telemarketer? Hello? Prank caller. Prank caller. Are you calling me from a cellular <laughs> telephone? Oh, hey, it's Frank from the underwriting department. Oh, hey, Frank. I just want to reach out and tell you that your car's extended warranty. Uh That's about to expire. Oh, God, thank you for calling. I was worried about that. The underwriting department, man, they're everywhere. I didn't even know it it existed. Yeah, especially on my 99 Toyota Camry. Like, I get (laughs) calls for that shit all the time. You need the coverage. You've got to have that peace of mind. So, yes, sign me up. We have... Ten more seconds of this. There's probably something at the very end. It's like a hidden track. Like, on oh a God! CD. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nope. That's it. We okay. got butt dialed. All right. Uh, however, right after that, uh-huh. on March third, twenty twenty-two. Hopefully, it's more silence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was two two minutes later. Okay. Four oh nine p.m. <laughs> What's up, Tad Pog? My hey. last phone call got cut off for some reason. I- no, we talked to the warranty guy. It's fine. <laughs> we got it all squared away. Our cars are good. We're covered. It was like cheap, too. It was like $1,000. Actually, can I get three it. of those? Of course. Thank I'll you. call them. Okay. Thank a- you. Anyway, Adam continues. I think I was in a dead zone, but I'm sure your fancy call service will have nipped that one in the bud. Definitely. Anyway. Got I'm it. catching up on all the episodes. I'm listening to the one where you guys are taking Banisher Backlog, Banisher Dane's three-question quiz. And I'm going to be honest. When Tyler was trying to list off the episodes that either Miller was in, hashtag Miller was listed, or hashtag more Miller was listed, was excruciating. <laughs> so here, Tyler just... Can, can confirm. <laughs> rattling off random titles, expecting... Wiz and Sage Ian to understand which category these went in. I was nearly dying. But I got to tell you, now that you guys are honing in on the answer to the last question, the frog pussy question, (laughs) I haven't heard the answer yet. You guys are still working on it, but I had to call you and tell you that I am on the edge of my freaking seat, dude. I'm on the edge of my seat, edging on the edge of my seat so that way when you guys answer it, I can just blow this load all over my steering wheel. This is a, a rare a reappearance of 
dirty minded beloved Adam. We haven't gotten a lot of this from him lately, so I welcome it. You guys turned this into a boring NPR podcast about stats and turned it into the very first season of Serial. <laughs> Except at the end of it, they get the person that murdered the person that the whole freaking show is about. Ooh, this has been a whirlwind of an episode. i got to get the freak off of here and see if you guys figure this thing out. I believe in you. Even if you don't get it, I believe in you. I want you to know that. All right? Mm, I freaking love you guys. Bye. Mm-hmm. Was Randy Savage in his car I with him? I think he was holding the phone for him, <laughs> talking to him about his car's extended warranty, right. probably. From probably sell more that oh, way. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Pussy. Frog pussy and extended warranty. <laughs> Snapping in some frog pussy. <laughs> Snap into it. That's the only way to do it. Hell yeah. The cream of the frog pussy. <laughs> Well, well, well. If it isn't a delay. Motherfucking Tad Hog. What up, guys? It's Aaron. Uh, hey, I was Aaron. listening to the backlog. I don't remember what episode it was, but you guys were talking about hiding games from your parents uh, in that SNES era. I want to tell a little story about how uh, I was playing Final Fantasy XI uh, when I was a teenager for a very long time, every day on our 56K internet. So mm. I would hog up the uh, phone line for hours and hours. And my mom told me, not allowed to play that stuff anymore. I said, okay, that's fine. Kept playing it. That's fuck that. I'm going to keep playing Final Fantasy XI. So I'm playing one day. She walks in my room. Uh, she sees me playing. She goes, is that that online game? I'm like, yeah. She goes, give it to me. I said, okay. I hit my CD-ROM eject drive button. Pull out the Battlefield 1942. This <laughs> say, there you go. You got me. Sorry. She leaves satisfied with her result, and uh, I won in the end because I kept playing Final Fantasy XI. You never knew. Um, but I wanted to ask now with you guys as adults, what games do you think your kids are hiding from you, and have you found any? Uh, shoe on that one. See you guys. I can tell you right now that I never put a restriction on the kinds of games that Gage could play, nor Miles. Yeah. Because they saw me playing very oh. violent video games all the time. We had discussions about the r- real versus fantasy. This is yeah. a game. This is the kind. This is the way you should act. You know, I gave him the lecture and I said, I don't, I can't in good conscience keep you from the things that I do right in front of you. So, you know, do it, just be responsible. And Miles, my youngest, was really good about coming to me and letting me know that he was not going to be playing this game or watching that game because he felt it was either too scary or too inappropriate. Uh Uh-huh. He was good at moderating himself. To which you would laugh at him and call him a pussy. Yes, and ground and him. Ground and whose <laughs> child are you? Make him smoke a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> smoke a pack of cigarettes. Play these while, 11 Mortal Kombat While playing the games, uh, I removed all the books and educational materials from his room, put a six-pack of Mountain Dew and a bag of Doritos in there and said, now get, get to busy. Get gamer. Do There's not the door. <laughs> Don't come back out. <laughs> Do not... Come out until you have grown a pair. <laughs> so no, they never had to. Hi- in other words, they never had to hide anything from me because yeah. I just didn't feel that it was healthy to keep things from them as long as they were informed of the choices that they had. Yeah. So that's how we are with uh, what we call adult words, where it's like um, we'll watch things where they're swearing and stuff in it, and Henry knows that. It's like there are certain words where it's like, just don't say them at school, and we don't use them around you, so we'd appreciate it if you don't use it around right. us kind of deal. Uh-huh. Uh, as far as games go, uh, I don't play a bunch of stuff that that I wouldn't want him to play uh, around him. Uh, I play that on, on daddy time. Uh, so that means I play a lot of like, Fortnite and mm. you know like all the, like the stuff that's I, I gotta be honest man it's like the only thing that I've really wanted to play around him that I've been kind of like was the Diablo 4 beta right and it's like he came in when I was playing he's what are you playing I was like ah it's it's a Diablo 4 it's pretty like 
pretty dark and stuff. And he's like, oh, okay. And he just left. <laughs> yeah. And Cohen has his games that he plays. And it started off with him. Where Gage was very heavily moderating what he did. and what he. But now we have movies going. If you don't want to hear the language, there's your room. Right. Uh, kind of thing. Or, you know, if he's playing Five Nights at Freddy's, for yeah. God's sake. I mean, it's at that point where there's nothing we can do to keep him from it just as long as he's the same with my children as long as you understand what you're seeing isn't real and you come to us if you have questions kind of thing so yeah and we're like that with the language as well you know so i've got that xbox on lockdown mm. yeah i'm more concerned about the people she's talking to yeah while, you know, playing, same you know, of like course yeah. yeah of course yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't care that, yeah i also like she's not interested in the kind of games that i wouldn't want her to play anyway right. so but, but she's got a lot of like shitty little friends though like just dramatic, mean little shit. Sure. That really? I, how old is, that I have how to she ban know? her. She's nine. Yeah. Ban her for like, okay, you can't talk to that girl. Like, because like Melissa will hear how they talk. And then like Meg has reached out to me about like, yeah, there's this girl that she always wants to talk to, but she she's awful to her. Like the girl's awful to Kenna. Mm. So it's like, yeah, if I, if I hear you talking to her, you're grounded. Right. Like, well, we play Roblox. I don't care. You, you can play Roblox, but. Not, you're not talking to that little I, girl. I think other people on the internet are the new forbidden content, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. it's not what so much what you're playing within reason as it is. I don't want you, and he knows better than that too. He, Cohen won't talk. We do not, do not allow him to talk to anybody, especially when he was into Roblox. Yeah. Oh God, oh, Jesus no. Christ! There was one time where the when he first started playing, where the little chat option wasn't turned off yeah and we heard we saw some typing some uh -huh. things and it was like nope mm -hmm. fuck that well, shit like the only time we've let henry do it is when he plays gorilla tag on the oculus mm. and it's he really wants to and he convinced us but it's like one of those things where it's like okay but we gotta like be in the room right. so that as soon as the end bombs stop dropping mm -hmm. it's like you gotta mm. get out of there yep. man because that's not a place you want to hang out. No, exactly. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's the lesson. The lesson is you don't want to hang out with people like that. Yeah. These guys named 4chan are playing. Can I play with it? No, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now nah, they're probably fine. I don't care. <laughs> uh, thanks for the call, Aaron. That yeah. That was a good question. Good question. I like that. But like you were talking about Roblox. Like, the, I mean, I feel like games are really good. Like, because I know Henry was playing a game when, on Roblox where they've got like, realistic guns and stuff and it's you know one of those things where it's like you're saying where it's like okay well this is a good opportunity to have a conversation about right. reality and fantasy and like what's good what's okay to do in a game versus what's like okay to do in real life right. and and, and yeah. the the standard you know if something's bothering you please come talk to us mm. you have an open forum here no judgment you know, just making sure all those bases are covered is really important, and then keeping them away from people online until they're thirteen or whatever. When they, you can't stop them. Yeah, like what? Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've been point, thinking you're about not that. Gonna have any control like, over it. Yeah, right. And you could fight it. You could be like, you could be like my dad was, and try to keep it all from me. Uh huh. And then I just made an even just more yep. concerted effort sure. at getting what I wanted, mm -hmm. regardless of whether it was bad for me or not. It was because he didn't want me to have it. Yep. So, yeah, I did a lot of that shit, and I, I learned just be open and encourage them to be open with you, mm -hmm. and they don't have to hide anything yeah. from you. If you be nice and be open and talk about things reasonably, they don't have to hide things from you. I know he'll ask, because he always does. He's, he's good about that, and we usually try to work it out, you know, where it's like, where it's like the gorilla tag thing, where it's like he really, really, really wanted to right. do the voice chat. It's like, I get it. That's a online game uh, other kids are playing it it's like i get that well, it you want to like talk you don't want to be the you don't yeah and you don't want to be the one that can't talk and right. take part in it so it's like okay how can we make it work and the way we have to make it work is you yeah. know we have to be in the room and all that so yeah. i just wonder like what how we're going to make it work when he's when he's older you'll, you'll figure it out it'll be it'll be exclusive to your household it'll be the way you right. handle it but He's had a good start. Same with Kenna. You know, we've had a good start in getting you going and mm -hmm. learning how to make the right choices. So when I'm not able to moderate you anymore, you have that filter built in to say this is not acceptable yeah. behavior. <clears throat> and, or and then you know, like I've 
sometimes the chat isn't a component. Sometimes you need mm-hmm. it. And mm-hmm. sometimes, like with Overwatch, you know, that's a terrible community, but you can play that game without chatting because they've they know how it can be. They've worked emotes and signals and things that you can do without talking into the game because they know how toxic people mm-hmm. can be. So, you know, it is what it is. But as long as you're taking care of business, as long as you're paying attention and having an open dialogue with your kids, it'll be fine. They'll they'll be good. They'll be good at it. All right. Good call. Yeah. Um, great call. Great questions. I love it. So it is now time to hear from you guessed it. Hi, Catboy. It's me, Catboy Michelle. Hello. I'm on my way to. You are terrified, Michelle. That's what I said. Oh. Hear little Abby read back yep. there. Hi, Catboy. It's uh, me, Terrified Michelle. Oh, I thought you said and terrified. No, it's me, Catboy. <laughs> That's what I Michelle. said. Booby traps. Uh, I love that they're arguing. Uh-huh. Like I love that yeah, they're yeah. having this. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm trying to call Tadpole. Uh huh. And Abby. And um, we're on the way to middle of L.A. for my fitness class. And uh, I was listening to the Wheel of Time series. I'm on the second to last book. Damn. Is that a, Damn. Is that a, is that a big Se- achievement? Second to last book. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. I, w- I wonder if this is... is did she say that's, that's, before... That's 13 books. Did she like, say before if this was audiobooks that she was doing or reading? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. And, um... That was a burp, that pause. And, um... Uh, Abby noticed what I've been noticing this whole time while listening to it is that when they say Malord, it sounds audiobooks. like Malort. Malort. I, Malort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I no. <laughs> Imagine yeah. now you, when you listen to these books again, you're going to hear that. Why do all these characters in this book need to polish their coffee table? <laughs> <laughs> They're all gagging. What is Malort? And why is this in my head? And how come I... What is Malort? And I tried looking it up, and I couldn't figure it out, and I thought it was a character in some other book. And then Abby was all like, huh, Malort. And I was like, what the fuck? You're hearing too? What is it? What is it? (laughs) Who is that? And then she's like, it's a cheap alcohol brand. And Uh, it's a shitty vodka? Yeah, like a shitty vodka. I don't know. And you all had to try it. It was terrible, but you kind of love it or something. Fuck, I don't know. But then. Yeah, but what they're actually (laughs) saying is, my lord. Yeah. It's just they're uh, apostrophizing it. (laughs) I'm like really bad at saying lord. I made up a word. I think. Malort. Malort. You know, it's like apostatizing. Yeah. I, that might also be a made up word. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> that's what I wanted to tell you because Abby said I have to call Tapog now. And I was yeah. like, that's what you do when you remember things. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> yeah. Call your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I have a request. In the future, <laughs> y- y'all call together, okay? Because <laughs> this is the best. This is gold. <laughs> this is the best. Call your dad. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you for that. It, the call oh. continues. We've got like almost another mi- okay. the half minute. Great. Well, I was like, just saying it was a shitty vibe right now. I was like, okay. And then she was like, like from Tampa, I'll come. And I was like, oh, yeah. So I called <laughs> to tell you that. Oh, 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 Liz and Sage Ian, I, I haven't been listening to the show in a bit. Uh, it will go again to my um, block listening or batch listening. That's what it is, not block. But I want to tell you, I've been watching Picard because I know you would yes. like that. And I hope you're still on the show. And I love Picard. It's amazing. Okay. Bye. Wow. Well, thank you for the shout out from to me, and the, I'm glad you like that I'm on the show. I hope I haven't said things to response to your calls uh, that have made you change that opinion. Uh, and yes, Picard is awesome. We're at season, we're past season three now. I hope you're still watching it, and I'd love to hear more about it. All right, we have four calls in a row okay. from area code two seven zero. Okay. And the transcript 
Well, I'll leave it up to you to decide if we should take these next four calls because the transcript's exactly the same. Well, now I want to hear all of them. Hello, this is Medicare FAQ and the lead insurance <laughs> partner. Hello. We're calling about your car's extended <laughs> warranty. We've got four of those, okay. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip those. All right. Now we're back down to 390, and we have a call from March 19th, 2022 at 317 p.m. from 828. It's almost my anniversary. Good afternoon, Tampa. Uh, I'm going to keep this one anonymous because it's a uh, work-related question. Mm. Okay. But it's an uh, anonymous VR uh, enthusiast. <laughs> uh, so I'm at work, you know, working by myself now. You know, it's good times, good times. Um, I'm sitting there, and I'm just, like, talking to an ex-girlfriend, and I'm feeling a little randy. So I'm like... This does not sound like it's going to end well. You know, you know, she's sending me some pictures and stuff, doing, you know, doing some things, and she's all talking about coming by. Um, y'all are boned down at work? Uh, it's not my first time. I've uh, boned down here a few times, and uh, I was like, so is that, uh, you know, you guys into that kind of thing? They kind of, uh, it was pretty hot, you know, get it in quick and dirty. Uh, I'm always a big fan. But I was wondering, you guys, uh, you guys like to bone down at work. All right, this is uh, anonymous VR fan. Uh, love you guys very much. Uh, I'll take my message uh, on air. Thank you. All right, thanks for the call. Yeah, let's put our careers on the line, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Honest answers only. The question is, do you like to? To fuck at work is what he's asking. Bone down, please, <clears throat> Ian. Let's keep it clean. <laughs> Come on, let's keep it clean. This is the first job where I could, but Melissa's all like, we could both lose our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. <laughs> Stupid bills. Uh, I could not and would not. I, mean, I work I, from home I, for I, a bit. Yeah, it depends, on, <laughs> it depends on how you define it. I have, but I wouldn't anymore. Yeah. And I couldn't. Too many cameras everywhere now. I have on a work trip. Does that count? Otherwise, sure. no. But no. I think he means at the office. Right. No. I wouldn't want to. Yeah. I don't think that's... I don't know. I don't even know that... I mean, that would be fun. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I would be too worried that... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my income's gonna stop happening. Right, because I do need that. <laughs> I need it a lot. You didn't fucking that dirty, awful bathroom back at your last job. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was that wrong? <laughs> uh, thank you for the call, anonymous VR enthusiast. Yes, thank you. We we actually know who you are, just in case you were wondering. Okay. I thought he said monogamous. He said VR enthusiast. An anonymous, <laughs> ominous, monogamous VR enthusiast. The rural juror. Rural juror. <laughs> rural juror. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now the call from March 26, 2022, 11.20 p.m. from the vaunted area code 505. Motherfucking dad pog. What up, guys? Oh, man. It's uh you okay? Sunday. Um March Hi. the twenty. Hi Sunday, it's dad. Seven? <laughs> two thousand two year of our Lord. We know the date, I just said it. I think. I can't really I don't remember. Uh I've been listening to the backlog, listening to the five eighty talking. I'll tell you that man's a legend. <laughs> yeah. I gotta know who he is. I asked on the Discord, somebody somebody sent me a message, give me a puzzle. And I told him, if you're Professor Layton, <laughs> I don't have any hit coins left. I don't, I can't on some of these puzzles. I don't know who 580 is. Have you been drinking? He's a mystery wrapped in the Enigma, wrapped in a, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck is he. <laughs> Oh, I've been drinking a little bit. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you have. <laughs> All right, uh, I gotta tell you, five eighty. You're a good man. You're a good man. <laughs> 
don't know if I'd say that. I'll go with legend, though. <laughs> legend for sure. Who? Who? What's he talking about? 580? What's Do you remember? Five, 580's from the long, the long ago. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Uh, he mm. used to leave us <laughs> creepy voicemails. Oh, yeah. And I was never really privy to that. Other than, I mean, I don't remember, is what I'm trying to tell you. I don't remember past, like, March. Okay. Well, apparently 580 is good. Yeah. Uh, uh, He's still around. I like him. Mystery, wrapped in an enigma. Uh, We have another call from Beloved Adam. We had a three-second call from Beloved Adam with no transcript, uh, which I'm assuming was another butt dial or bad signal. Probably. Uh, so I'm going to skip forward. March, okay. March 30th, 2022, 8.07 a.m. What's up, Tad Paul? Get your beloved Adam. Hi. Just finished Hi, the Adam. Super Soccer episode. Have you been drinking? It was wonderful. <laughs> at, it was a great time. At 8.07 right. a.m. Great time. Uh, Dane, screw you for your wild kiss, Mary kills that you come up with. I think that you need a hobby. Um, and, uh, and maybe need to get out of the house some, and, uh, I wish that we lived close by so that I could, I could, he, he has a hobby. It's, it's putting us. our stuff it's on us. YouTube. Yeah. We're his hobby. I could go outside with you. That'd you guys touch grass uh, together. Keep, keep the calls coming and, uh, make them even more confusing next time because that's a, that's a great time. But Hey, this call is specifically for terrified Michelle. Uh-oh. She had called and left the message. Uh, and mentioned me in the message, so I just wanted to call and say, hey, Terrified Michelle, I have no idea if you said a good thing about me or a bad thing about me. <laughs> I'm not even sure if you were talking about me, but I wanted you to know, man, it was great to potentially, possibly, and maybe also probably not hear my name come from your mouth. So if you did call and talk about me, thanks so much. I love that. If you didn't call and talk about me, you know what? Thanks for that as well, because I'll take either way. I'm so grateful that uh, that you also fill the call log with me. You are a companion of mine in this endeavor to keep calls alive and uh, give the guys a good laugh. Uh, roll up your windows and call back soon. Love you guys, and I can't wait to hear from you uh, soon. Have a great day, rest of you guys. Ooh, I had a stroke there. Have a great rest of your day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you're okay, uh, Adam, about, after your stroke. Uh, and, yeah, I do believe, I do remember Michelle saying nice things about you. So um, why don't y'all fucking call each other because this is our show. We don't need you motherfuckers talking to one another. Okay. I'm just teasing. You can do that. That's fine. But if you do call each other, record it. Yeah, and then we'll and play, then play it on the show, <laughs> and we're not going to pay you for that. So we, we literally can't. It's illegal. It's not legal for us to do that, uh, especially not in California. Right. Uh, another call. We have a call here from five six two with no transcription available from April fifth, twenty twenty two, eight thirty seven, p.m. I just had sushi, so I'm calling to tell you about this. Mm. Because why not? Sure. First, I love seaweed salad, but I think Fuck this yes. is perfect the way it eats. You get seaweed, you got the sauce, you got the little sesame seeds, it's fine. You don't need to do anything else to it. I'm sure there's something that you can add to it to make it, I don't know, exciting and new, but for the most part, don't. Like, people put lettuce. Under my seaweed salad. I'm uh, like, why is there a salad under uh, my salad? What? Nobody wants that? I no mean, dog. Somebody probably does. <laughs> I don't. And then, today, there was a cucumber in my seaweed salad. Like, I I'm guess, okay with that. but I don't like cucumbers. What? I'm okay with that. With a cucumber what was the second the thing salad? she said was the ingredients that she prefers? She listed off some stuff. Seaweed, sesame seeds. So, sesame seeds. I mean, soy sauce. Okay. So def- def- define a a good seaweed salad for me, Tyler. Like, what would be, if you were to put together a seaweed salad, what would it in- encompass? Pretty much those things. Simple, cold, green, crunchy. Fucking love seaweed salad. Love the shit out of seaweed salad. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, Michelle continues. Cucumber. So I feel like it's just the wrong vibe. There needs to be not any of that. It's just raw, okay? It's just raw. 
But then I had a dragon roll. The dragon roll was great. And then I had she said dragon, dragon roll. Dragon roll. Yeah. Okay. I had a fuego roll, and it was made with habanero pepper flakes. So my stomach's a little bit on fire because I am a weakling. But that's okay. Same. It was good. Same. But it had a weird crunchy thing, and I was like, "What is this weird crunchy thing in my sushi?" Like a little bit of crunch is fine because. It's usually like a breading or whatever, or it's like uh, cricket. Know, celery. You know, like oh, this is a could be the thing that you found in the fries from just hamburgers. Could that be. time could be the thing. It's it's like could a be. curse. Yeah, it, yeah, it follows, follows around. The, right? <laughs> if you've heard the episode, <laughs> right? you will at some point in your life get this thing in some of your food. Yeah. So if you haven't yet, don't eat it. If you see it, don't eat it. It's bad. Because then the listeners of your podcast will then also find it in their food sometime <laughs> in the future. It's like the ring. Right. Yes. There's a carrot in my sushi. That's what there was. There was a carrot in my sushi. And not a nice little, like, chased piece of carrot. Like a big it was carrot. Like, like a bug's in the middle buddy. of my sushi, like... What a giant, like eight inch long carrot! <laughs> like the chef is like, Sticking we're out. gonna put this, in, we're gonna wrap this in seaweed, and see what happens. <laughs> Still in a donut hole, but there is no hole of sushi. There was a baby carrot in each of my rolls, and I was like, yeah, that's bullshit. No, do not put a baby carrot in my sushi. <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, I would go to that place again. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't terrible. I was just... I think you should ask him to put a burnt mystery thing <laughs> from the fryer of the restaurant next door in your sushi, and then the carrot won't bother you so much next time. It's true. I need to a clearly better read the description because... I tell you, the seaweed salad only said it had this, uh, the sauce and the sesame seeds. It didn't say anything about cucumber. And the, the fuego roll, it probably didn't read clearly about But I thought I'd let you know that I am a very picky eater. <laughs> and I don't think carrots go on my sushi. It is weird. Also, cake. Let's talk about cake for a second. My work, every single <laughs> Eat the cake. <laughs> the exact same cake bakery, which is not a bakery. I mean, technically it's a bakery, but it's a pandaria. They make great fun. They do not make great cake. They happen to make cake. They automatically put whipped cream frosting on everything. Okay, like when I went in to order a cake for my boss, not for him, but in his, for somebody else, and I ordered it. Okay, so her boss told her to order a cake for somebody else. And apparently they put whipped cream frosting. Like they do on all of them. On all of them. Mm -hmm. There is a follow-up call. Okay, okay. That also goes the full three minutes. Okay, all right. And we're going to find out. We're going to get the bottom of this cake mystery. And then two more. <laughs> <laughs> it's like listening to the Wheel of the Time. Wheel of time. <laughs> Malort. <laughs> Next Malort. call, please, Malort. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Cake time. I did not pay attention to the cutoff. Okay. So I went and ordered it on behalf of it. That's what it means. And they, like, I was like, I'm going to get privileges because that's what the guy who was getting cake for life. Cool. And I would hope that they can't mess that up. But honestly, who knows? Anyway, and they automatically switch whipped cream frosting, and I'm like, well, what if I want a buttercream? They didn't even ask me. They just circled it. And I'm like, well, seeing as how I don't know much about stress dishes, then what if buttercream would ruin it? So I'm like, fine. And then they want me to have a filling in my cake, but I'm like, what if I don't want a filling? But I got a filling because my coworkers are like, you have to have a filling. And I'm like, no, you don't. Some have cake, some have filling. And their filling isn't good. I got a feeling. I don't remember what it was. Whatever. And then I asked if they could put a decoration on it, and they're like, we don't have that. And I'm like, what? Kind of a weird cake place. Because you're a pantaria, which is fine. It's a sexy cake place. Is it? No. 
But she said, what kind of cake place is this that won't put a decoration on top of the cake? And I just immediately thought of sexy, sexy cake, cake from I, The Simpsons. I didn't, I didn't hear any of that. I'm starting to feel like Yelp. Yeah. Okay. Right now. Okay. <laughs> I think we've got a good cake because every time we get the cake, it is dry, it is bland. The only good thing is when my coworkers order the cake, they order it with strawberries in the middle. All right, strawberries, so, strawberries in, the in the middle. I got that. Filling. Here's the thing. I'm beginning to wonder if this cake place, which she apparently hates, is one of those things like the pizza place in Metropolis that everybody thought was so amazing, but was really just the most garbage pizza. It was called Cubby Bears, I think. Cool. I haven't even heard of this place. I haven't either. It's the worst pizza I've ever had in my life, and you know me. I'll eat a... F- I, hate, I love pizza. Is it still around? I, lo- I hate to hate pizza. I love pizza. Do you know I don't it think it's still around. Damn, I'm gonna try this horrible pizza. But like, we would go up, we would go <laughs> anytime. Be a bear. Yeah. When I worked at the casino in Metropolis, anytime anyone would order like pizza for a pizza party or lunch or whatever, it always had to come from Cubby Bears because for some reason the people in that town convinced themselves that this was the greatest pizza ever made. And it was not, but they <laughs> never ever hesitated to buy this pizza from this fucking place i feel like that's what's going on with this cake joint i think these people actually think that these cakes are amazing and michelle apparently is the only one that is like me in this situation is the right. only one that isn't brainwashed and knows the truth right well, michelle what you have to okay. do is in your purse you keep one squeeze jar of smucker's brand strawberry jelly the kind you squeeze out mm-hmm. not the jar mm-hmm you put that on any kind of shitty cake, and that's gonna be good. Huh. Okay. That's gonna be you're gonna be gonna roll with that. All right. I'm gonna carry I start carrying some smuckers around. Or if you get me. waffles, okay, they so forget the... syrup, you put that strawberry syrup on and it's almost as good. Okay. All right. Well, there's more. Michelle continues. That's the only good thing about the cake. If I even go up to get some cake, I just eat the strawberries and throw the rest away because it's not good. Am I laughing? But I'm too picky. And he thinks it's only me. And that's, okay, fine, if you think that, except for that everybody I've ever t- talked to about the cake that works in my department. She's, uh, she gagged thinking, thinking about, about the, the cake. cake. Yeah. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> 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 Also, she, she she clarified my previous statement, which is apparently everyone hates this cake. She embalms people, <laughs> and this cake makes her gag. Which is <laughs> okay. I'm glad you said that she embal- embalms people because it's like I'm trying to think like why you're ordering this cake. You're like not a cake orderer. You're an embalmer, right? I think that's what I would say to my boss is, uh, I embalm bodies. You can order your own damn cake. <laughs> There's more. Uh, that's right. They all hate the cake. They all say it's terrible. Awful cake. What was you getting it? I told my, my boss of the mortuary, my boss's boss, I said, he said, if you ever want to have something different, and I was like, cool, we can have different cake because your cake sucks. <laughs> he said, well, no, no, not that. And I'm like, what? What's up? He's like, you know, if you want something different other than, you know, a foil loco or chilies or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but the cake sucks. The cake is the problem. The cake is a lie, first of all. We all know that. Mm-hmm. But it sounds like... This is a triumph. The boss... Is just loves it, and it's like my money. I'm buying the cake. I'm subjecting from everybody this place. to this cake. He's got a stake in that cake company. Nobody, exactly. No mm-hmm. one's holding your hand to the fire. You don't have to eat the cake. This is the boss talking, right? You guys bring in your own protest cake. That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, before we stopped here, we stopped at uh, Dairy Queen and got an ice cream cake, which you can't have any of. <laughs> You're, You're going to have the shitty cake. You can eat this shitty cake. You, boy, you love it, right? <laughs> you love it so much. Why don't you just eat the whole fucking thing by yourself? So foodie time. <laughs> Here we go. Fine. You can switch it up if you want to, but the cake is the problem. Nobody listens. Nobody ever listens. Not at all. Mark, who was all like, oh, this time we went to my bakery, so it was good. No. Still dry. Still dry. You cannot have dry cake. What the hell? 
needs to send her a good moist mm-hmm. cake. Yep. Sounds like they're lacking in the cake department in Southern California. Uh-oh, here we go. Michelle again. Oh, this goes on and on and on and on. Here we go. Okay, guys. I figured out what works for me wow. specifically. After eating spicy food, I take a spoonful of Nutella. And then my tummy feels better. So instead of a spoonful of sugar helps the Nutella, helps the medicine go down. A spoonful of Nutella helps the spicy food stay down. Okay, that's it. Cap- Caps combines with the fat and the Nutella instead of the, your stomach lining. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna try that. Mm-hmm. Peanut so if butter I, too. If I so overdo I it, use. I didn't know this. I'll yeah. have to try so, the. Yeah, Dave and I will eat peanut butter sandwiches before we do some of that spicy shit. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, secrets revealed tonight on Tadpog Dateline Edition. Uh, Michelle calls again, April 7th, 2022. Fluoride Day. Fluoride Day. We didn't have Fluoride Day when I was a kid. Fluoride Day? Fire. Yeah, we talked about Fluoride Day. I don't remember that. A little that. white cup you go out in the schoolyard in elementary school. Oh, okay. Swish it around. Oh, okay. they made us do it in class, and they brought a bowl around for us to oh, spit yeah, it we out. We went out and spit in the yard. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I would have rather spit in the yard than in that nasty ass bowl. How else is the government going to control us, Michelle? Your pervert principal drinks the chemtrails. The, the chemtrails aren't working. <laughs> they got to use the fluoride. That's right. Hey, Kentucky water not fluoridated, or is it now fluoridated, or did they decide you have enough? Fluoride in your toothpaste, so it doesn't matter. Because our water is fluoridated, and I assume that that was all of the U.S., but I mean, I only live in California, and I was only ever lived in California, so it makes sense that I wouldn't know. All right, bye. Um, we do put fluoride in our water here, but the prevailing logic, at least in the 70s and the 80s, was that most children aren't drinking enough of the fluoridated water, oh. so therefore they would give us fluoride tablets or fluoride liquid to switch around. Uh, they did these tablets they would give us. They turn your teeth red. Yeah. And um, I like that better than the swishy spitty. Well, I thought maybe I'm mixing it up with the ones that you would chew up. I thought were red where they show where you didn't brush well. You know what I'm talking about? Well, see, I don't know. Maybe that's what it was for. Mm-hmm. I, I never knew what I just was like in school. Right. And, and like, like they hand this. me a thing and say, eat it. And you got I'm, it. I eat it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, there's plenty of fluoride in our water. There has been. I'm living proof. I have spots on the front of my teeth uh, from, because of, A, the fluoride in our water uh, that affected them when I was growing up as a result of my mother taking antibiotics while she was pregnant with me. So I got these weird funky spots on my huh. front teeth uh, that the dentist, much like the big lump in my mouth, can't really explain. Maybe I'm, I'm curious if um, also there were so many people in rural er, rural areas, areas well, well yeah. with well water. Stuff, yeah, because yeah, that, that well water isn't... Especially in the 70s, mm-hmm. the 60s, 70s, and 80s mm-hmm. around here, when fluoride started to become part of water treatment. Right. Yes, there are... We have a lot of people in rural areas around here, and it, they but they didn't want to subject them to having to go through the treatment and not treat everyone right same deal it's like if the buses can't run Mm -hmm. in the county they can't run in the city because we can't bus half the kids to school and let the other half stay home right so yeah i think that was definitely a thing in our area especially right yeah because there are i mean i don't know how many are on well water now but i remember when i was in school like several families being yeah (laughs) having well water there's a there's has to be in the assumption that Teeth aren't being taken care of at home. We therefore have a responsibility to 
at least try to keep our children's teeth from rotting out of their heads. <laughs> right. Because they're probably just drinking soda and eating Pop Rocks all day, which right. is absolutely the truth. <laughs> Why do you think I have such bad teeth? And that's despite the fluoride. Right. It's my it's my British Scottish lineage. I know <laughs> that's what it is. All right. Uh what are we where are we at? We've got we can do one or two more. Three more calls from Michelle, but they're all very brief. Okay. okay let's let's do those. Good. Okay, here we go. In case you didn't hear the last message, I didn't I have no idea what a fluoride day is. In California, our water is fluoridated, so we've never had fluoride day. Maybe when my parents were kids, but I'm the same age as Tyler, so I don't know if your water is fluoridated or if you just have it in your toothpaste and they think that's enough, which probably is. Um, but also, when I come up to a large building and go to the edge, I actually can't go to the edge. My body... I look over it, and my butt's, like, way back there, like, bending over, like, uh, yeah, okay, over so that way I can't be pushed off or, no, no, no. I won't even let anybody I meet go that close to the edge. I'm like, um, please come back here where it is safe. So I don't have the, what if I just jump off? I'm not like, nobody's jumping off or falling off or being pushed off. Everybody's staying in a safe distance because safe. Okay, bye. Okay. It's okay. You have control over those intrusive thoughts. Mm -hmm. Just don't jump off the building. It'll I'm okay. like her, though. I won't go towards the edge of a building. I'll even see someone on a movie yeah. standing on the edge of a building that I know is not really happening, uh -huh. but I get like my feet start to hurt and I clench a little bit because it just makes me nervous. I'm just always afraid like a bird's going to bump into them or they're gonna wind is going to blow and knock uh -huh. them off or something. And I absolutely will not tempt fate and does, go to the very edge of a building. Does, like, a railing make a difference? A railing does. Okay, yeah. okay. Like, Because, uh, I mean, I also uh, wouldn't just right. stand on the ledge of a building. and I mean, just because, right, why? You right, know, like, yeah, <laughs> I don't. Well, I don't know, and that's the thing. Some people just have that desire. We talked about this before, but when I worked, again, when I was working at Harrah's, we built a giant hotel, relatively giant hotel, uh, on the property, and... Of course, being IT, we had free run of the place while it was under construction. You know, we were running cables and patching things in, but moving TVs, you know, all this kind of stuff. And we had roof access because we had to set up antennas and internet access and all that kind of stuff where all that shit came in. And the guy I worked with, he's considerably older than me. He's a good friend of mine uh, named David, as a matter of fact. Mm. Uh, but we were up on the Indeed. roof doing some work, and he did. He There's no railing on the r edge of this building, and he did. He walked right up to the edge, stood up on a, like, you know, six-inch wide ledge and just kind of looked over the edge and looked down and just stood there doing it. And I'm back like 20 feet away thinking, bro, if you fall, you're on your own because I am not getting that close to the edge of the building. But it was just he was fine with it. It's just some people can do that, and there's people like me who, Turn into little crybabies when it comes to stuff like that. I won't do it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't see the point of doing it, honestly. You know what I mean? Like yeah. getting right up to the edge. But I, like, if there's a railing, I'll even look over the railing. Mm -hmm. As long as I have something to steady my body mm -hmm. against, I'll be okay. One of these days, the railing's going to be what gives up and makes me fall to my death because I wasn't balanced properly. But, you know, whatever. I don't get up on tall things that often. So mm -hmm. it's probably not going to be an issue. Uh, the next call from Terrified Michelle goes a little something like this. Guys, you can train a cat to use a toilet like on Meet the Parents, and they will use a regular toilet. We get these rings that start out really big, and the cat gets used to using that ring that has cat litter in it, and then they decrease and they decrease and they decrease as far as um, whatever. They're attached to the ring of your toilet, and they get smaller and smaller and smaller, so the cat just gets used to using the toilet. And so these squat cats could very well use the toilet and it be water, or they just can have sand because that's what cats would use anyway. Okay, bye. True. Did we talk about this or something? Or is this up maybe. above? She's just telling us. Yeah. yeah. Just so you know. Nikki's sister did that with one of her cats. 
my friend Dane did that with one of his. And I wouldn't do it with any of ours. No, because I wouldn't either. I didn't like it. <laughs> it's like, uh, with my cats, it's like, that box is your toilet. Right. This is where I shit. I shit here, you shit there, you shit there. I'll <laughs> clean them both. But just don't, you're not, I'm not draining you to use my Because like, uh, <clears throat> my, uh, Nikki's sister's cat would like, sometimes not make it. And it, there'd just be cat shit on like the fucking seat of the toilet, yeah. where it's like the cat's like, I know this is where I go, but you know, like the, even the litter boxes are like, I'm in the litter box, and then they're just shitting on the floor. Yeah, or yeah. peeing she, on the wall. Yeah, or she'd something. do that yeah. with the toilet, and it's like, well, this is obviously more trouble than you know. If I've got to deal with it, I want to deal with it on not my toilet. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Good point. All right. One more from Terrified Michelle. One more from Terrified Michelle, and I think we're going to wrap. Yes? Sounds good. Okay. Brace yourselves. April 8th, 2022. Hi, Cat Fuck. This message is for John. Maybe he's on this episode that you that you listen to this. Nope. Maybe he's He'll hear not. it. He'll hear but it. But I'm going to talk to you. Okay. John, I don't know your life. You may be a very, very, very busy man. But don't have time to sleep seat. But I don't care. I need the Star Trek podcast uh. that you and Ian were going to do. It is important for my life, and I am selfish, and you must stop whatever it is you're doing that's making you not be able to do the Star Trek podcast to pick at me and me alone. Yes. That is all. Uh-oh. Also, you're right, Chad Pog, you're right next to Dad in the contact list. So, you're like our second dad. Just promise you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. I love that. And I apologize about the Star Trek podcast. It's still we all know it's John's fault. Still crosses my mind. I definitely (laughs) still want to do it, but John and I are both very busy, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to say... It will never happen. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say, we don't know. We don't know. But I appreciate your interest in it, uh, and I know John does as well. Uh, So let me see what I can do. We'll see. I think that's a good place as any to stop. Yep. We did some good calls, mostly Michelle, but that's all right. I like talking. I like hearing Michelle's take on things. And and the the little interjections by Abby there, mm. it's nice. It's mm. a ni- It's a great spice, chefs. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. It's great. A little law in your chaos. Yeah, do just fine. Yeah. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. You can find the show on iTunes, not SoundCloud, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, all over the place. Uh, but hey, do you wanna do you wanna call us like we did all these all calls? You can send us uh, a voicemail two seven zero eight eight three two five five five. Or you want to send us a package, something uh, to do for a community corner on the show, you send that to Tadpog Studios, care of Nicole Nance, P.O. Box 3785, Paducah, Kentucky, 42001. But most importantly, we got that Patreon. Usurper Grimm, Cousin David Galino, Plinko Nick Price, Cubicle Monkey, Cthusius Jeff Miners, Master Cycle Baron, Kevin Link, Joseph Phillips, Gamebug Prime, Nathan Eaton, Matt Gentile, a.k.a. Gentle G, Princess Consuela, Banana Hammock, Flavor Trick, Taryn Dahl, congratulations on your marriage, Pinball, Airplane, Archmage, Chris Edler, we sorry you couldn't be on this episode, Platinum Member, Brett Miller, Sandwich Pope, Phil Hawkins, Nate from Utah, First Time Caller, Drink Smith, Joey Webster, Dig Dougie, Derek Pope, Sandwich, and Cody Phillips, we do still thank you for trying. These are all of our executive producers that donate $20 or more per month to the show uh, out of their hard-earned money. We really, truly are thankful for that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and um, if you'd like to donate to the show like these fine folks and many others who uh, contribute to our show each and every month, for as little as a dollar a month, you can have access to our bonus content. We've got some new content on the way, mm-hmm. which is the follow-up to the Scott Pilgrim. Uh, Tyler's editing that now. That mm-hmm. should be up before long. Uh, I've got some plans in the works for some more stuff. And uh, if you'd like to donate, get access to that, that's going to be Tadpog or uh, uh, patreon.com slash Tadpog or pisstasters.com. Uh, t-shirt update. It's middle of June. We should be hearing something soon, so we'll let you know what we find out. We'll have some uh, overstock 
give you the chance to order some t-shirts if you didn't get in on the promotion when we were running it before. And a thanks, as always, to Backlog Banisher, Mr. Puzzles himself, Dane, for putting our show on YouTube every single week of his own volition and of his in his own free time. Thank you so yep. much for that. Thanks, Dan. And for everyone that supports the show that joins us on the Discord. Uh, if you'd like to get in on that conversation, it's slash tadpog discord. It's free, it's open. Come on in, hang out with us. We're in there all the time. Uh, a lot of great people in there having funny conversations and uh, doing all kinds of kooky shit. So join us there and spread the word about the show because we love doing it and we love talking to people that love hearing it. That's all I got. Uh, our theme suck is Moves by Sycamore Drive. We did that track from the insurance at tadpog.com. How you guys want to close it out? Mm. You know, you'd think by now I would have thought about this ahead of time just once uh, to be that's ready. That's the fun of it. But I don't know. Um, like, um, like Terrified Michelle's dad. Okay. I'm terrified gonna... Robert. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stoic Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so until next time. Drop So I waited to the end to ask you when you said F bombs. Did you mean <laughs> fucker? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. D- <clears throat> did you mean how many letters in this F bomb? Four. Oh, okay. That F bomb. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's the only question I have. They well, the they bleeped it out uh uh-huh. like frequently uh-huh. in the beginning, like I don't know, there's like thir- there's like twenty episodes and in the first probably ten or fifteen episodes, anytime they would say something like that, they'd bleep it. Towards the end, it's like they just didn't Stop. give a shit. <laughs> they just said fuck. They just said it. Frequent and it the first couple of times I heard it, I was like, Did I <laughs> did I hear that? Did they say that? So yeah, it was uh the F Blank, blank, blank. Okay. The other F-bomb you could totally say on television at the time, so it makes sense that they wouldn't bleep that out. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> no not that. No, they they just didn't edit it out. It, it seriously reeks of them just like knowing <laughs> this is... Um, in the final episode of the show, they're constantly talking about, well, this is the last episode, so fuck it. Or, you know, I mean, yeah. it's just literally... Uh, they were just phoning it in at that point, and it just got funnier because of that. So even the even the kid, even the little toddler, dropped a couple, you know. So yeah, it was so out of place and so hilarious. So yeah, thanks for letting me clarify that. Yeah, uh, ghost stories. Ghost stories. Wasn't say just check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs>